This is McGarry Music Reviews. We're reviewing the Dr. Robert pedal today. Got it for Christmas, and here it is. That's the settings for their song, She Said, She Said. It's a Beatles-inspired pedal. To capitalize on the sounds, I, should, I shouldn't say capitalize, but to reproduce the sounds of the Revolver and Sgt. Pepper albums. There are a couple of songs from the White Album, but the main thing that's in, in, this is inspired on is the UL series, the hybrid tube solid state series that Vox did. I believe this one's based off of the UL 730 and there's a lot of cool stuff packed into it. The artwork is done by Klaus Vorman, the one who did the Revolver album cover. And it just exudes that Sgt. Pepper Revolver really distinct distorted sound as you heard what she said, she said. Now I'm gonna change the settings. This is more of a mellower setting. This is the paperback writer setting. This is without the mock show. The mock show is like a boost. We'll get into that later. <laughs> Shaw, which is a FET boost. So before we get into the other Beatle examples, I figured we'd mess around with this a bit. So you got four controls. Here, I'll show you again. Mock show volume, which is the boost volume. Mids, which control the, the mid range. Gain, which controls the distortion and volume, which, well, the loudness. So if I turn the pedal all the way up, turn it all the way down, self-explanatory, that knob. Usually in the, in the manual, it doesn't really tell you to mess with the volume much. Once you set it to unity gain, it pretty much does its job. Now the gain, if you crank the gain, lower the gain, mids, if you cut the mids, if you boost the mids, that helps add to the distortion sound. And the mock show only works when engaged. So I cut it, nothing. So that's that. We'll mess with those controls as we go along. Right now I said I had it set up for Paperback Writer. So let's just jam on that a bit, you know. We already did the intro, but let's see what happens if we do something else. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do a different one. Now, stuff like Rain and Dr. Robert, that's more of your rhythm based sounds. So here's Rain. The thing with Rain is that the mids aren't quite cranked, but they're pretty close to being cranked. But the gain is mostly up all the way and no mock show on this. This is just like your normal rhythm sound. <laughs> Nice open, open sound, I guess we could say. 
especially when you're doing a lot of ringing chords. So like something like a. <laughs> setting that is more in the rhythm line of things is something like Dr. Robert. You back the mids to noon and gains about three o'clock if you're looking at an analog clock. Yes, I am just doing this on iPhone. If you want me to get a proper camera one day, I suggest that you click subscribe because the more we get closer to a million, not a million, a thousand, the closer we get to a thousand, the more that I'll actually, you know, get paid for this job. But here is uh, Dr. Robert. Now, I don't remember how to play Dr. Robert, but uh, this setting also sounds a bit like getting better, you know. <laughs> Taxman, that's one of my favorites. This is the rhythm guitar that George would play. So again, this is another rhythm type sound, but this is more of the aggressive rhythm, similar to say Rain or Paperback Writer. <laughs> settings for that if you'd like that again it's on their website i think you gotta download the pdf oh uh, let's do the uh solo so that's cranked mids are cranked gains cut back and the mock show is not quite cranked it's about between one or three o'clock sound. I'm going to turn down the mock show or turn it off rather. So now we're on to the Sgt. Pepper setting, which is a very nice setting actually, the rhythm setting. So mock show back at noon, typically when you're not using the mock show boost, typically when you're not using the mock show boost, they usually in the diagrams have you keep it at noon. So that's about there and that's also about there. So the mids and gains are about one or two o'clock if you were looking at an analog clock, I just realized. <laughs> and 
And the volume pretty much stays at noon on all these examples as well. So this is more your rhythm guitar, like what George is playing. <laughs> the mock show a bit not too much just a bit and the gain and mids are maxed out <laughs> I'll show you this again. Hopefully I'm getting it in some type of angle. Hopefully that's good. Now let's just kind of mess around. So I'm gonna put everything at noon. This is so you can find your own settings. It's all everything at noon. This is like a unity gain. Here's what it sounds like without the amp. scooped. Bit of a darker sound. like a, oh, what song? As Pat Flaherty said, the more gain, the more scumbag. So if you're on the, say, neck pickup of your Strat, sounded pretty close. Maybe if we boost the mids up a bit more. On the power supply, there we go. UL730 on Abbey Road, I think that gets you pretty darn close. Now, I always recommend if you're going to turn up the volume, turn the gain down just a bit.
it worse. That's weird. Put everything back at noon. So, let's jam back out. To end this video, we're going to go back to the she said, she said tone. And we're just going to rock and roll a bit. I hope this was an insightful review. If it wasn't, sorry, but if it was, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Here we go. So let's do, uh, let's just let's rock out. One, two. Three.